test mic what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to talk about some of the usual uh, notations or notes that we incorporate to our pipe whenever we tag them so as you can see here i have heaps of tags or notes for our pipe here like for example this is our stack so in order for us to fully I uh, give the information to the other user or to the other stakeholder so we usually put this annotation just for them to understand what is happening okay like for example for this pipe I have a tag here that is called a 150 FWDTA okay so if you have watched my last video I have discussed there the basic setup for your plumbing or sanitary piping system we're in FW stands for foul waste drainage okay so this is what uh, this is the abbreviation that we use for our sanitary okay and then if you still remember we also have storm water and then we have a abbreviation for that SWD as well as vent which is uh, just letter V now we are going to expand more on this topic so we are going to create or I'm going to show you how to create these tags it's very simple so you just need to understand one uh, example and then you'll be able to create all of these tags okay the process is the same so we just need to understand what are these notes or notation stands for so if you are in sanitary plumbing piping ducting uh, cable tray piping okay so you should be able to understand what are these notations so to those of you who are just starting to do a design in sanitary or plumbing or mechanical piping ta for example this one stands for two above so that means if you're going to put this notes to a stack that means for example for this one this is a 150 diameter foul waste uh, foul waste drainage pipe that is going to above okay so TB stands for to bottom so meaning this pipe will go into the bottom level okay so FA stands for from above so meaning to say that this pipe uh, this pipe comes from above okay and then for this one FB this one stands for from bottom so meaning to say if you tag this pipe that means this pipe comes from the bottom level okay so there are also some annotations or comments that you use the combination from bottom and then to above so meaning to say this pipe comes from the bottom and then it will go to above okay and then you also have FB HL okay so this one stands for from bottom to high level okay and then what else yeah so that's it for this uh, uh, simple notations that we usually use for our uh, piping or ducting okay so now I'm going to teach you how to create this uh, tags okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this start from scratch so let me just create a new family okay so let's do this so this is very essential when you are setting up your let's say you're doing plumbing or sanitary so you set up these tags so that your tags will gonna be rich in information whenever you tag your pipe so this is just part one so I'm going to show you another uh, video that will show you another set of tags that we can use for our piping okay so let's uh, create a new family so let's select that one all right and then let's go to annotations and then generic tag just open that all right so for this one I'll just need to delete this by the way this intersection will gonna be the intersection at uh, the insertion point okay of your tag so I'm just going to delete this one we don't need that as you can see it says here delete this note before using so let's just delete that 
All right, and then another thing that you need to do whenever you start a generic tag, make sure you change the category of this. So currently, since we use generic tag uh, template, so the category is generic model tags. So what we are going to do, we're going to select family category and parameters. Just select that one. And then from here, we're going to look for pipe tags. This one, okay? So we select pipe tags to properly categorize the pipe that we are using. So as you can see, it's now pipe tags here. And then let me just save this. I'll just save it on my desktop. Okay. So I'll just put here, let's say, the company name. Let's say uh, learning with reach uh, dash pipe with typical notes okay and then go to the options maximum is only one okay and then save okay so this is now our family so the next thing that we're going to let's now start our tags okay so i'm going to add a label first so we are going to create so many tags okay for this one because we're going to create uh, several types of our pipe with typical notes tag okay so let's go to the create let's select a label okay and then for this one i do not want 3mm i'll just use here uh i select edit type and then i'll just duplicate this i only want 2mm 2mm and then for the text point, let me use here Calibri. Okay, let me use Calibri. Okay, for the text size, it's 2mm. Width factor, about 0.8. And then I select here, okay. All right. And then I'm just going to pick here my first type of tag. Okay, so just click and then you will now see here your edit label. Now for the first type, I'm just going to include here the diameter of the pipe. So just double click that. And I do not want to include the mm whenever I put the tag of my pipe for the pipe. So that's why I'm going to select edit parameters units format. Just select that one and then uncheck this. So I do not want to show the unit symbol mm because it's understood every project that we are doing is in millimeters. So I do not need to show the mm. So that's why I select here none for the unit symbol and then I just select here OK. There you go. <clears throat> and then let's say I want to show a tag that tells me the diameter and then there's a simple note that that pipe is a down pipe. Okay, which is we usually use for the storm water. Okay, so that's why I'm going to select diameter here. And then for the prefix, I want the diameter symbol. So you just need to type Alt 016. Ah, Alt 0216. Okay, so alternate 0216. This one. So the alternate key plus 0216. That is for your diameter symbol, okay? So you press Alt and then 0, 2, 1, 6. So let's do this. So Alt, 0, 2, 1, 6, and there you go. So there's your prefix. And then the sample value is a uh, diameter. And now, since I want a uh, typical note that tells me that this pipe is a down pipe, so I'm just going to put a suffix there, and then I'll just put DP. Okay, so you just need to include the DP to your legends so that you can put their downpipe on the legend. Okay, so DP stands for downpipe. So I just select your apply and then I select your OK. There you go. So I'll just select your modify. And this is now my first uh, tag. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. I'll change the horizontal alignment. I'll just make it left. There you go. And then I'll just drag it again. I'll just want to put it here. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to create a type 
for this one. So I'm going to select family types. So, so let's select family type. And then for the type name, I'm just going to use here new type. Okay, and then you just need to specify here the type. Okay, so like for example, uh, pipe tags with typical notes type. Or I'll just put with typical notes. Okay, so I'll just select here OK, and then there is our type there. Okay, so now I'm going to create a visibility parameter for this one for the diameter dp. So to create a visibility parameter, so I'm going to select new parameter. Okay, and then just type the diameter with dp. Okay, and then make sure that this type, discipline is common, Ty uh, type of parameter is yes, no. And then I'll just put the group, this one to the group under the graphics. There you go. Okay, so diameter with DP, common, yes, no, graphics, type, just select OK. Alright, so just make sure this is checked. And then I'm going to select here, OK. So how about... Instead of using uh, with typical notes, I'm just going to make it more specific. So I'm going to rename this. So I'll just type with. Okay. So diameter. I'll just put the same name. Diameter with down pipe. So that my other users will gonna understand what DP stands for. So diameter with down pipes, I select your OK and then just make sure this is checked for that. Alright, so I just select your OK. Now we are going to apply that parameter to this label that we just created. So to do that, so we are going to associate that parameter here. So I'm going to select this. And then you see there's a visible here. Just click that button, associate family parameter and then let's select that one, diameter with DP, and then select OK. And there you have it. So we now have one uh, typical note tag for our pipe. So if I'm going to try this, so I'm going to create a new project, browse, I'll use uh, plumbing, OK. Okay, all right. So I'm going to create a pipe here. Select a pipe. So just make sure you change the system type here. So let's say I'm, I'm doing a sanitary. So I select sanitary. So I pick here. And then I'm going up. So I change this one to 3500. And then I select here apply. All right, for example, that's the stack or that's the downpipe. So I'm going to load this. Let me just save it first and then load to my new project, to my project 2, not the old one. Project 2, OK. And then I'm now going to tag this over your pointer and there you go. So pick. So now the other users will know that this pipe is a downpipe with a diameter of 150 all right so that's the first tag so you will notice if you go to your families here look for that annotation symbols so that's now the one that we just created <clears throat> okay so we have one type diameter with downpipe so let us furthermore add information to the tag that we are working on so i'm going to select that again so i'm going to copy this so copy, let's copy that, oops. So let me copy that. So let's say, for example, I want to show the diameter and then I want to put a note there that this one is a stack that is from above. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select that. I'm going to edit the label. And then for this one, 
instead of putting a suffix dp, I'm just going to type here stack. Okay, so stack from above or fa. Then I just select your OK, and there you go. Right? So if you want to have the space there, so you just need to edit again the label. And then you pick the suffix there for the stack. And then you just press space before the word stack. So there's now a space there. So if you select OK, so there you go. So there's now the stack FA. Now, same procedure just like this one. So we are going to create a parameter for this or type for this one. So I select family types. Let's create a new one. So this time I'm going to type um, diameter with uh, stack stack from above. Okay. All right. And then let's create another visibility parameter for that. Oops. This one, so this will going to be a uh, diameter with stack F A. Right, and then same procedure, you know the drill. So type parameter, yes, no, group, under graphics, make sure this is type, okay. And then, since this is diameter with stack from above, so I'm going to uncheck the DP. Make sure this one is checked. Okay, then select OK. And then we associate it here. Same procedure. Click that label, associate. We associate the stack FA, and then select your OK. And then I'm just going to click this, and then align that. There you go. Okay, so we now have two labels here so i'm gonna save it and again we are going to test if this is works okay so i'm going to select load into project again to the project to okay override the existing so if i check again this one so i now have to type here so as you can see it's now updated okay so if i select this i now have here two types so one stock from above and then the other one is diameter with downpipe. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just see what is happening here. It's not updating. Oh, okay. So I forget. So let me go back here again. So I forget to uncheck here the stack FA. So select this. Uh, go here, sorry, you go here, look for the DP, the downpipe, because as you can see, the stack with FA, uh, stack FA is also checked there. So you need to uncheck this. So we are only talking about downpipe here, downpipe, check, stack FA, uncheck. So make sure you check all the parameters here. Okay? All right, so select OK here, and then I'll just move up. Okay, so let's save this. Let's update, load, OK, overwrite. All right. So as you can see, I can now select this and then change to downpipe. There you go. So we now have here two types. So let's add more. OK. So what else? I'm just going to copy this. Copy. Right. So let's say I want to have the abbreviation of the system. And then I want to put some notes that that is from bottom and to above. Okay, so how to do that? So I'm going to select this. I'm going to edit the label. And then aside from diameter, I'm going to delete here, by the way, the suffix. I do not want to include the suffix. Okay, so aside from diameter, I want to include the system abbreviation. So I'm going to select system abbreviation. You add that. I do not want to have a space here, so I'm just going to make that zero. And then for the suffix, so I want to put from
from from bottom slash to above oops and then I select here okay and there you go okay so again if I want to have a space there abbreviation is space so I just edit that label you go to the suffix before F so you just space there you go so there's no space select OK and there you go so again we are going to create a visibility parameter for this same procedure you know the drill family types create a new one I will just call this uh, abbreviation or uh, let me just complete so that other people we un will understand the system abbreviation uh, it's that F B T A F B T T A okay so that's the new type so let me create one oops sorry create one <clears throat> so this one is system abbreviation F a T B okay type parameter again yes no group parameter graphics select here okay there you go again don't forget to modify the graphics here so for the system abbreviation FBTA oh this one should be FBTA so let me just rename this should be FB F B T A. Okay, so F B T A. So for this one, make sure you uncheck diameter with T P and you go to diameter with downpipe, you uncheck that. Uh, diameter with stack from above, you uncheck that. Okay. There you go. So apply. Okay associate select button FBTA okay right and then let's click that let's align that here right so let's save this load into the project project 2 okay let's override this all right so I select now this one click the drop down I now have three types here so I select system abbreviation FBTA okay so right now there is no uh, system abbreviation for our sanitary so that's why it's not appearing here so that's why what we are going to do is we are going to set our piping system so let's go to the pipe system piping system so we are talking about the sanitary so I'm going to double click the sanitary system here because remember when we created this so this is under the sanitary but currently we don't have system abbreviation here okay so remember during my last video the abbreviation for sanitary is FWD that stands for foul waste drainage so I'm going to double click the sanitary here look for the abbreviation there you go so I'm going to type here FWD and now let me just change the color I want the color here to be cyan okay okay and then okay there you go so now it appears the Revit now reads the abbreviation for this if I select this so there's the abbreviation so that includes FBTAs meaning I'm telling to the other stakeholders that this pipe is a drainage pipe always drainage that will that is from bottom and then it will go to above okay so if I select this again I now have another downpipe let's say uh, I stack from above there you go okay so let us modify our vent here as well so let's double click that system so for the vent, I want to use here yellow. OK, 
okay and then for the abbreviation just v will do there you go okay let me just create another one so let me double uh, right click sanitary let me duplicate that i will create here storm water storm water okay double click storm water oops and then the color for this one i want that to be green okay okay now for the abbreviation it's swd okay storm water drainage so I select okay so that when we create a pipe here create a pipe change the system type here let's say storm water so let me click here let me click here so let's say it will go up uh, 4,000 apply so if I want to tag that so I select tag I tag this modify so if I select that I can change that to system abbreviation it should show SWD there you go okay it's now neat so we have a automated tag <clears throat> Alright, so let us add more. Okay. Alright, so we now have uh, system abbreviation FBTA. So let's say, for example, I want to include uh, uh, downpipe. Okay, so I want to tell them that the downpipe, this is a downpipe that is from above. Okay, so for example, how to do that. So it's, just, uh, it's the same. So you just select again copy move it down modify all right so let's select this and then edit edit the label so i do not need the system abbreviation so i'm going to remove that i only want the diameter but i want to put here a suffix of dp okay so dp is space f a Okay, so meaning to say I'm telling to the other users that this pipe is a down pipe but is from above. Okay, so let's select here. Okay, there you go. So DP, FA. Again, what's the next part? Okay, we are going to create a new type for that. Create a new one. So for this one, I'll just type uh, diameter. Uh, with down pipe down pipe uh, from above okay down pipe from above so we need to put a type name that the others can easily understand what is that type is about okay so do not use so many abbreviations or initials so make sure it is easily understandable so let's select your okay all right and then let's select a new parameter for that visibility parameter you know the drill type okay so this one is diameter with uh, down pipe f a okay it's okay even if you type so many things because you only need to do this one time and this is a standard whenever you create a setup for your company so you only do this one time and it's all good so the type of parameter again yes no graphics type okay all right this is downpipe from above let's uncheck the downpipe oh, let's uncheck the system abbreviation and then let's go to the other parameters here diameter with downpipe so let's uncheck the FA diameter with downpipe okay down pipe from above that's correct stack from above okay so let's uncheck this one so stop from above that's correct system abbreviation this is unchecked and then I select your okay and then next step associate select select this is DPFA DPFA okay and then let's move up there you go all right so again let's check 
let's save load into project project 2 okay and then override the existing version and its parameter all right so let me select this one as you can see if we go back to our tags here little by little it becomes uh, rich here in different types right so I can select this one if I want to change that so I now have here down pipe from above so I select this there you go so I'm telling to the other users that this pipe is 150 diameter down pipe that is from above okay so what else so let's say for example I want to use here the comments so as you can see there's a comment here so I want to put here a comment and I want that comment to be included to my tag all right so how to do that so let's do an example so let us go back again to our tag here <clears throat> so let's copy again one copy copy move down all right so for this one I'm going to select this and edit the label so what I want to do here is I do not want to have a suffix okay but I want to add again my uh, oh, not the diameter sorry the system abbreviation system abbreviation double click okay and then I want I don't want the space so just make it zero so for the prefix it's all good okay but another parameter that I want to add here is comments so let's add the comment with a space and then for the sample value this is too long so I'm just going to type here comment or comments okay so that's the setup so I'm going to select here okay and then there you go again you know the drill select new this is system abbreviation uh, with comments all right and then uh, let's create a parameter for that so system abbreviation with comments uh, type discipline yes no uh, graphics and then ok again make sure you have the proper visibility system abbreviation with comments so I need to uncheck the from above TA here and let's see the other here so diameter with downpipe so uncheck this downpipe from above so uncheck this uh, stock from above uncheck this <clears throat> tbta uncheck this okay uh, abbreviation and comments so that's correct just double check again make sure they only have one visibility check all right that's correct all right select OK and then associate so select right and then this is abbreviation with comments okay there you go so let us now align that there you go save it load again let's test it override okay let's say for example for this one I want to tell them that this is a downpipe but I want to include a comment so I'm going to select this and then I'm going to put here a comment so for info for info information check with contractor or whatever note that you want okay and then let us change it to that type Okay, system abbreviation with comments. All right, where is my comment for this one? Okay, sorry. So select. Why is it? Why it didn't show? For info information, check with contractor and then 
select apply oh why is it not working oh wait 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 edit type is this the one let me just check this type comments here uh, testing Hmm, I wonder why is it not applying here? Hmm, or is it too long? Alright, let me try again. The comment is not... I wonder why is it the com there's something wrong with the comment parameter here. How about uh, just short one, testing, apply. See, it's not working at all. There's a problem with this parameter. Maybe I need to update my Revit. Okay. Or FB from bottom slash high level. Hmm. Wonder why is it not working? Okay, so let me just save this one first. Okay, sample. And then let me close this and then reopen. So let's test out. Let's open up the sample project. Okay. So let's select, put a comment here, test. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let me just figure it out for you what is happening here. Seems to be a problem. I think it's looking for a value here. Testing. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. But in our 2019 project, it's working. I don't know why it's not working here in my project. But that's how you do it. Okay? So let us add more. Last one. Okay? So for last one. So let's say I want a vent. I want to tell the users that this is a vent from above. Okay? So let's do that again. So same procedure. Let's copy one parameter. Okay? So let's select this. Edit label. So let's remove these parameters here. Okay. Remove. Remove. Okay, but I need to put a suffix here, which is a vent from bottom. Okay, and then let's select here. Okay. There you go. Oops, I need a space there. So I'm going to select there and then space. Okay. And then let's create a type for this. Create a new one. Okay, this one is diameter. Diameter width. Uh, vent from bottom okay and then create a visibility parameter for that new so this will gonna be diameter diameter with vent from bottom all right so FB common length Oops, this one should be yes, no. Alright, this one should be graphics. Okay. And then make sure we apply the correct visibility. Vent bottom. And check this. Let's check out the others. Okay, down above. Down pipe from above. Stack from above. Vent from bottom. FBTA 
abbreviation with comments then select OK and then associate select visible uh, what's that event FB OK then let's move just wonder what's happened to my uh, comments here let me just edit this one the comment otherwise it didn't work because in 2019 this is how I do it so edit the label okay I think how about I do like this okay so let me just try that and then let me just uh, load into the project oops align save and then let's load sample project okay override so this one is with uh, comments so how about I select the other one the one that we just created which is this there you go so it's not working okay I just wonder why is it my comments here is not working at all so select can't put a comment why is it like that testing apply I don't know what is happening anyway so there you go so that's how you create different uh, notes or different type of tags with typical notes to your project let's say for example for your sanitary and plumbing okay so just like uh, this one okay so you have here different types of notes so basically that's how you do it okay so if we're going to do all of this it will take a lot of time but I know you already uh, know the standard way of doing that I already shown it to you guys so hopefully this helps you when you set up your company template your project for your uh, plumbing or sanitary so the same with your ducting as well mechanical piping mechanical ducting or conduit okay so this is how you do your uh, standard notation so I already gave you this one these are the standard list or uh, the st uh, standard notes that we can use when we put information to our pipes so hopefully you learn something from this video have a nice day